You want to go first? You go. It just takes a village to make the Gray Man. The Gray Man is set to surpass any expectations you may have with nine intense action sequences, a stacked cast, and a ridiculous budget. The Russo brothers are shooting to create a new action franchise. Ready to find out just how they brought it all together? Number one, Joe compared this situation to a Monty Python skit. There was a car on a swivel in front of a green screen, and the Russos told Ryan to lay down and just hang on as if the car was spinning at a very high speed. All they had to do was shake it a bit. It wasn't going the way Joe hoped, so he climbed on the car to show Gosling how it's done. Hopefully, we get to see the secret take they filmed. Number two. Gosling went through all the different martial arts styles. I've never made an action movie before, so it's it was a lot for me, of course. The movie is designed around him, so it was all on his shoulders. Seven months were devoted to intense, highly specialized choreography. The Russos were a couple of teases to Gosling, too. They were eating like kings while he was eating some, quote, dried chicken breast thing. Joe's never met anyone who could do stunts like Chris Evans. At least until Gosling. Number three, you should always be cautious of what they save for the end of filming. Take Ryan Gosling's word for it. He said, when I was on the tram, it was nearly the end of filming. I'm running on top of these tram cars and they're falling beneath my feet as I jump. I remember thinking, this sums up this experience. This is exactly what this movie has felt like. Number four, Despite the nine action sequences, the cast went pretty unscathed. It was like a knockdown, drag out, everyday kind of thing, but no emotional scars. Joe Russo said that Gosling was getting beat up sequence after sequence and was weirdly loving it. While Chris Evans got into a little tussle with the gray man and battered his arm pretty bad. Deobia Opere trained for four months for a 10 minute sequence. I was like, oh, pain, oh, your back hurts. Oh no, baby, okay, have fun. Number five, watch out for her. The training was really like 360 training. Anna said, you have to create this unity on set and you have to match the other person's energy. And you need to be very careful and give the other person the space to also feel safe and go at their own speed. She's, she's dangerous. She's a dangerous person. Be careful. Number six, keep in mind the average is four. Nine action sequences is just insane. The idea was to create a relentless experience for the audience. Joe and Anthony are entertained by excess. The novel the movie is based on has 11 action sequences. Joe had no idea how they were going to fit it all into one film, but they managed to pare it down to nine. Number seven, Chris ran mustache first into this part. So said Ryan Gosling. While Evans' character manifests as a sociopath, he doesn't see it that way. He sees him as someone fearless, being his authentic self. Chris believes that usually villains aren't burdened by complexities and insecurities. Number eight, this movie had barely any deleted scenes. Maybe a line was cut here or there, but these guys were on a tight ship. The Russos have a very disciplined approach to working on a script. They're more than willing to cut things before they get filmed, rather than do all that work and cut it later, because energy is precious. Number nine, from grayscale to a rainbow of awesomeness. They wanted an extravagant amount of color to contrast the lead character. Joe said, the way that we approached the look and feel of the movie was in contrast to the expectation. They played with different techniques to keep the lead out of focus by putting him in a weird part of the frame, lighting him slightly less or keeping the focus off of him, which Anthony said sort of created the idea of a ghost-like quality. Number 10, the whole cast was put through the ringer. Okay, I I've worked for these X amount of months. Let's see who we got. Joe admitted, it's extremely physical. It can be painful. There's a Cirque du Soleil level of choreography going on. People are throwing punches at each other at very high speed, and if somebody misses by an inch, someone has a broken jaw. It requires incredible precision and a lot of training. Number 11, the Russos are giving us a slightly different kind of action star. Joe said he's a very modern hero. He's existential. He's obsessed with Sisyphus, the Greek myth of this character stuck in futility. It's what separates him from Bond and Bourne. 
As Ryan said, it's a proletariat hero. He just wants to get the job done and go home, and he has no desire to romanticize it. Number 12. Despite your best efforts, sometimes you have to make a cut. Filming the hospital scene took weeks. Before they'll release the actors for the day, they watch the footage to make sure it's working. And if it isn't, they get back to work. They tried a ton of different ideas on this one. It's the only one where any real cuts happened because they were so experimental with it. I mean, I could see that. Number 13. Their process is almost like cheating. Surround yourself with good people, and you only have to do half the work. The other half of the work is great communication. Anna found she had freedom to explore during rehearsal times, find out what she was and wasn't comfortable with, and then they built the fight scenes around her and her ability. Number 14. We're not talking about the hissing cobra chicken's devil spawn, still just Ryan. Gosling got the call when the pandemic hit about some globe-trotting epic blockbuster for Netflix. He didn't think it was serious, but reality hit when he got his call time. He always wanted to make an action film. It took a long time to find the right one, but he knew that this was it because the Russos were manning the helm. Number 15. The Russo brothers have been obsessed with Ryan for the last two decades, just like everybody else. His character craves anonymity, but when he talks, the character has to be quirky and funny. Joe finds it hard to find an actor who possesses Ryan's range, because Ryan's incredible with minimalism, able to convey an entire interior life with just a few looks. Number 16. Keep in mind, John Wick only cost $25 million to make. This is Netflix's most expensive film ever, costing $200 million. This partially had to do with all of the cities that made gorgeous backdrops for the film, including Chateau de Chanty in France, Los Angeles, the Czech Republic, Thailand, Austria, and Azerbaijan. We shot an awful lot of it in a hangar in Long Beach. Between the locations and the nine action sequences that take up three quarters of the film, they really racked up the bill. Number 17. Dynamic Characters is the name of the casting game. Joe called Anna a badass, who can embody her character in an extremely truthful way. Anthony said, She had to create a very rich inner life where we can follow her thoughts and we can see her calculating her way through challenges. Number 18. So the stunt coordinator has an excellent sense of fashion, of course. They have a martial arts school in Orange County. And that's their tracksuit. Number 19. Let's just say the Russos could have used 48 hours in a day. The movie almost did in the two of them. They were so tired by the end of it because action requires an intense level of thought, care, and execution on set. But of course, the action wasn't their only responsibility. They were also editing at night and recrafting constantly, so they weren't sleeping. Number 20. Here's hoping this is the end of these pandemic tales of woe, huh? And Jess would just like kind of pass me notes under the floor saying, hey, can we be friends? There was a lot of ad hoc building of environments due to the pandemic. And I'd send back a little note full of hearts saying, no. The Gray Man is shaping up to be the action movie of the year, and for good reason, huh? Do you think there's a point where an action movie can have too much action? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And thanks for hanging out with us here at The Things.